Hey guys, what's up? Today Apple released iOS 7 Beta 2 for developers and I'm going to be showing anyone how to get this firmware, uh, the current version of iOS 7 on their devices completely for free uh, without a developer account. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get your iPhone or iPod Touch running on a stock firmware of either 6.1.3 or 6.1.4 for the iPhone 5. So it needs to be in the uh, highest upgrade of the 6. Uh, X series. So once you have that downloaded, installed, uh, install it uh, like fresh and make sure it's not an update. Once you do that, slide to unlock here. And we're going to be quickly going through the process to uh, register our device on 6.1.3. Uh, once we have that done, just connect uh, into the Wi Fi right now. Once we have that done, uh, you won't have to do it on iOS 7, so that's why it's crucial to do it right now. So hit setup uh, as a new device, and then you can hit uh, skip this step if you don't want to enter in all your information right now. And then hit agree. Uh, use or you don't use Siri doesn't really matter. This doesn't really matter. And now it says start using iPod Touch. So now that your iPod Touch is activated on 6.1.3, we're going to need to plug it into the computer and install the new firmware. So once you plug your iPod into the computer, uh, just hit Setup as New iPod Touch. And uh, once this is done, we can get ready to install iOS 7. A few notes, iOS 7 is pretty unstable. I wouldn't recommend doing this on your main device. If you have a second one, uh, go ahead. But if you're highly reliant on your iPhone or iPod Touch, then there could be some more glitches that you experience uh, in iOS 7 that will cause you to want to go back. Well, you can always go back to 6.x uh, firmwares. It can be a pain, uh, and you'll never be able to get back to 6.1.2, which is the firmware where you can jailbreak on. So basically, all we're going to have to do is hit the Get Started button right now. And then what you're going to do next is hold down the alt key if you're on a Mac like me or shift key if you're on a PC, then click check for update. So you have to hit the check for update and not the restore iPod. So what you're going to be doing now is finding your iOS 7 beta 2 firmware for your respective device. Now you can get these on the internet, I'll have a link in the description with more information or you can get it from the developer center if you are a registered developer. So what we're going to do right now is hit uh, the firmware file of the iOS 7 beta 2, hit open, uh, click update and then the iPod will restore to iOS 7 beta 2. Once the process is done, iOS 7 should be installed on your device. Uh, all you gotta do is slide to unlock, uh, hit the continue button. You can enable location services if you want. Uh, you can skip this step. Uh, skip. Uh, don't add a password lock. And then welcome to the iPod. So here you have, uh, you are on iOS 7. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later. If you ever want to downgrade, click the link in the description to go to our downgrade video.